calling, you may not be able to call East Cleveland City Hall if the reduced budget passes. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin explains why. Well, the feud between the city of East Cleveland's mayor and its city council continues. Not only could the city lose an additional four police officers, but the lights could get cut off. In a budget passed by the East Cleveland City Council last week, although not finalized, it calls for major reductions in central services. A cut from 2.4 million to about 1.3. But here's the kicker. See these hash marks? What does it mean in English? No money, not even a dollar. Central services is what the city uses to pay for things like the electric, gas, and telephone bills. The citizens in East Cleveland don't have time for that kind of mess. Actually, I think it's a disgrace to the community. The city needs about $500,000 to pay basic expenses, and without council authorization, basically Mary Gary Norton can't cut the check. Norton issued a statement saying, quote, For the health and safety of East Cleveland, I hope that city council will reconsider its budget to include basic expenses as well as police. Speaking of which, the police department took another $200,000 hit, which means four police officers could be laid off. We attempted to get in contact with the East Cleveland Council President, but our calls were not returned. Well, from what we can see, the money is there. This is some kind of ploy from the City Council where they're trying to hold money back to uh, uh, make the mayor look bad. Henry Smith is part of the Northeast Ohio Alliance for Hope, or NOAA. I wish that they could work together because uh, we really need them to work together at this time. The mayor says he plans to veto the budget passed by city council, but he also said he expects his veto to get overturned. Or in East Cleveland, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.